all my friends, Retros2 here as always. Another mail video, some things I received on the, by mail, some things to join to my collection. Gonna end up talking a little bit about something I had as a kid and I've got back now. It's not exactly the same game, but hey, it's a version of the game and I'm very happy to have it back. But what else, what nothing else to say, let's get it started. What I received first for Super Famicom was Peril. That's, I think I'm saying it correctly, Peril. It's a Pachinko game. It's funny, it's well, really, really, really well made, you know. Actually for a Pachinko game, I think it's amazing. And for what I've been told, I think there's four. This is the first one I have and I like it. I'm still learning how to play it, of course. Another game that I received is another baseball game. Japanese baseball games, there must be 10 billion of them. I know. I don't know, but there's a lot. And I'm gonna try to pronounce the name correctly. If I'm not, wait, this is the best I can do. Kutseyo 2, something like that. And it's a baseball game. There's nothing else to say about that, no? Another baseball game, but it's pretty cool. Well done, as always. Then, from Namcot, another Super Famicom game, Pr Prime Goal 2. It's a soccer game, it's pretty cool. It has lots of teams. Uh, it's I think it's based on the Japanese league at the time. And I like it. I always like these soccer games. What I received for Super Nintendo, European of course, in this case was Cyberna Cybernator. People say it's pretty cool. I think it's excellent. I think it's a cool mech game, uh, side-scrolling shooter. But there's something about it. I think Gun Hazard is really, really the same game. Uh, of course, made from another producers, but it's better. Gun Hazard is a little bit better than this one, but it's still a cool game. Cybernator, anyway. If you can get it for a nice price, I say go for it. Something else I haven't had yet in my collection, and finally I do have, is Starwing. Starwing, or in, in Canada, America, whatever, was Star Fox, but in Europe it was Starwing. And I still think it's excellent. People say it's uh, it's getting old in a bad way, but I think the graphics are still cool and it's excellent for what it is. Now let's get down to what I just received yesterday and I was waiting to receive these games to make my video. Um, Famicom games. You know, in Portugal there was a lot of TV game. TV game is a clone of Famicom. A Famicom and what happened was we had a lot of this in Portugal. It was kind of like the poor man's version of the games and if they're TV games, they're pretty cool because the label is like the original and everything else is just a knockoff, a direct knockoff of the Famicom games. What I don't like is the new Famicom games, the ones that you get from China, AliExpress. I really don't get into that, multi-carts and all that crap. I think they're pretty shitty, to be sincere. But if there are, the, if there are these old TV games, I praise them as much as a Nintendo, as a Super Nintendo, as a Mega Drive or a Master System game. I collect them at the same way and at this point I'm up to 140 games. If they're not multi-carts, if they're single carts with the original label and all that, I'll keep them. Keep them. And even if they're a cool game and they have the shitty knockoff version crappy label, I end up making the original label. And I'm going to start with one of those. This label says Contra 6. I know there's a game that's called Contra 6 on the TV game, the Famiclone, whatever. But the label says Contra 6 and this really is Contra Force. I'm going to get a label upgrade, put the correct label on it, and it's going to end up looking pretty cool, but it's going to stay in my collection. Another game that I already had, but I made an upgrade because this label is more correct, is Taito's Chase HO, if I'm not mistaken, HO or HQ, I don't remember right now, but here it says HO, and it's a cool racing game. Already had one, but this one's better, so I've made an upgrade. Ah, and these were these were all sealed. These are old, new stock. I still got the little pouches that they came in, and I'm gonna keep them like that. But they're pretty cool. But I had to open them, of course, to play them because I didn't have them. Another game that I had made an upgrade was Temco World Cup Soccer. You already had it, nothing special, soccer game. This one was better, of course. It's new. It was mint, and I ended up staying with this one. Another game that I put in my collection they didn't have on Famicom was DuckTales 2, always hard to get and it's pretty pretty cool label and a pretty pretty cool game, same game as DuckTales 2 on the NES, I do have DuckTales 2 on the NES and this is pretty awesome. So it's the same game, that's what happens with Famicom, 100% of the time or 99% of the time it's the same game. Now the game that I had as a kid, I had on the NES and I lost it, my god it still hurts. 
but now I have it on the TV game and I'm pretty happy and I put it a little bit yesterday and I got distracted and I was playing for a long time. And it's Mighty Final Fight, Final Fight, Final is in Portugal, Final Fight, was I was trying to say. Mighty fi Final Fight is an excellent game. I had this on the NES, my dad brought it for me from Spain. I love the hell out of this game and finally I get it, get to have it back in my collection. Of course, if I find the NES card, I'll be happy as well. If I find the original Famicom game, I'll be happy as well. But for now, this TV game version of Mighty Final Fight will be the version I will play. And I will play the hell out of it. So, my friends, this is what I received this week by mail. These last two weeks, actually. The last two weeks what I received by mail. And I have nothing else to say. Be well.